subscribe for the latest in boxing. I'm going to quote a uh, quote from Joseph Parker. If we were offered to get a rematch with Dillian White, we'd take it. Whether Dillian is ready or willing to take a rematch, I don't know. But I think even he will be aware that a concussed Parker nearly came back and got him at the end. He will probably see it as quite a high-risk fight. So, that is what Joseph Parker had to say. Um, he says in the end that Dillian White was almost knocked out by a concussed Parker. And because he's talking about at the, in the last round, he would manage to knock down uh, Dillian White. And I think the only reason that happened was because Dillian White was so exhausted. If you look at that fight, Dillian White was exhausted in that fight. By the 12th round, he was completely exhausted. Um, had there been a fresher Dillian White, he would have never got dropped. It was just due to fatigue. And because he was, since he was, because if you look at this fight, he was the one putting in the most work. That's why he was the mo the, the guy who was the most tired throughout the that fight because he was the one actually applying the pressure. Um, first of all, I don't want to see a rematch between Dillian White and Joseph Parker because Dillian White, to me, clearly won. I didn't see this as a competitive fight. I saw this as a one-sided beatdown, and I thought Dillian White clearly won. And no point that I personally, I understand some people looked at this fight as a very highly competitive fight. I was not one of those people. I felt that this was e an easy fight for Dillian White. I thought he clearly won, and I don't think there's any need for a rematch. What's the point of a rematch? Um, I, the only time I want to see a rematch is if the if is it if it if it's if the fight's like very highly competitive and you know it's back and forth but this was a case where the majority of the of the rounds were dominated by Dillian White and then in the end he he managed to knock down a very tired and fatigued Dillian White but prior to that it wasn't really that competitive to me it was really one sided that's just my opinion people disagree with me but that's just how I felt it's my opinion um and again What's the point of Dillian White? And you, I think what Joseph Parker really needs to do is kind of work his way up again. He's coming off two back-to-back -back losses. Like I said, he, he should fight Derek Chisora. Fight Derek Chisora. Uh, because Derek Chisora just had that, you know, upset win over Tackham. Fight him in the UK. Um, people know who Tackham, who Chisora is. Fight him. Beat him. And then... You know, start talking trash in the in the post fight and calling out Dillian White or something. But I just I don't see a point of this rematch taking place. What's the point of Dillian White versus Joseph Parker too? Um, I actually felt that Derek Chisora was in a more competitive fight than Dillian White because Derek Chisora had uh, Dillian White hurt and in more worse situations than Joseph Parker because that I remember when that fight took place. I thought that was more of a draw, White versus Chisora, but this whole uh, White versus Parker was not as competitive as that fight. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see the, I don't see no point in the rematch. Uh, I think Dillian White, I mean, I think Joseph Parker needs to go back to the back of the line and work his way up again. Fight Derek uh, Chisora, then fight somebody else who is. Legit, and if you beat him, then maybe you could fight for a world title again. And I think Dillian White should fight for a world champion. Like, you guys already know, I think he should fight for a world uh, title in his next fight. Dillian White seems to want to fight Tyson Fury or Manuel Char. Um, I think he beats Manuel Char easily, and he'll win that regular uh, WBA belt. But I wouldn't consider him a champion, even if he won it. I mean, he, he'll he technically be a champion, but you, you guys know what I'm saying. I wouldn't consider him, like... A champion, champion because the guy who who holds the real the uh, WBA uh, strap is Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and what I think about Dylan White versus Tyson Fury, interesting fight. Um, that's kind of interesting. Probably leaning more towards Dylan White just because Tyson Fury is just not what he used to be. If you look at my post fight when Tyson Fury fought Surf for Surfer, look at the post fight. I said in the post fight that not only was I picking Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua to beat uh, jo and Tyson Fury if he were to fight them next, but I would even pick uh, someone like Tony Bellew. 
And I think Dillian White is better than Tony Bellew. So I would actually be picking Dillian White to beat uh, Tyson Fury. Because I just think Tyson Fury needs to fight for at least another 12 months. Get himself in proper shape. Get the, the rust off. And get himself back to the form he used to be back in 2014, 2015. That's just how I personally feel. Anyway, guys, stuff to say.